Hey folks, this is Kenny. Today we're gonna to be building a pop-up blind heater. As y'all all know, all pop-up blinds um, for hunting um, do not allow heaters. But I mean, this is at your own discretion. And I'm gonna build, build one, not a propane one, but a sterno. And they're pretty clean and they don't let off a lot of fumes. Um, about the same as propane but it less less smell so when you're hunting deer hunting or whatever and you know, when it gets colder or squirrel hunting or rabbit hunting it seems to do a lot better but here's what we got i saw got the idea from the internet but i'm doing mine different because it says to put the blind of uh, the heater in the center of the blind well there's a lot of people shooting from the corners this and that and you know how, how pop-up blinds are kind of small so i'm building a heat shield all right, I'm going to show you what I got. Um, that is my heater. I got it all laid out. With a little door at the bottom, like on the internet it said to do. That way I control the heat, and you can cook on it too. So you can use it in survival situations. You can cook on it, heat yourself, heat yourself with it, or whichever. And uh, I got a little door cut up, to, so in case you put a pot on top of it, you can control the heat coming out, you can't. You know, and that'll get plenty of oxygen. Plus, you got a hole. I got marked little holes I'm gonna put at the bottom for to draw air. All right. And there is my sterno. And I gotta cut that can right there where the line's marked. That's gonna get cut. That way, you're on dirt or whatever. You can put it down in the dirt like on I saw on the internet. Um, we can do, but I'm doing my different. But this back here is going to be my heat shield. I'm going to cut that can. This is about the same size as the other one in half. And I'm going to weld it. Or you can use pop rivets. And if you don't have a welder, you can use pop rivets. But I'm using uh, my little uh, MIG welder. Uh, 110 MIG welder. Or 120. All right. And anyway, I'll show you. I'm going to get to cutting these. And on the sterno, I have uh, this cut right here, a little pie shape. That way I can stick the can down in there to hold it. And I might have to put wire through here or something to hold it too. But this helps hold the sterno in place. And I cut them in pie shapes down. And here's your sterno. And it should last about two Two hours, two and a half hours, you know. So, yeah, pretty good. I got a bunch of these. All right, well, and uh, got a little hinge right here that I will be putting right here on this little door. Um, and a little nut for the suppliers. My multi tool will open it in and out. You can take a stick if you want to, and then the woods on Okay, and I got some uh, high heat uh, material that we're also going to be using for insulating purposes so it won't get warm, cool to the touch. And that's this stuff right here. That's some good stuff. Um, Y'all can see that? Yeah, good stuff. So I'll be using that also on the back side of the heat shield to keep the blind from getting warm or anything like that. Well, you know, the stove on, you know, the, the heat against the side walls of the blind. Okay. Well, when we get to working on this stuff, cut all this stuff out. And let's know how it goes. I'll be right back. Okay, y'all. I got the door welded up. And the little hinge. I got I to finish cutting out what I need. I got a little bolt welded on there. Sorry about the sloppy welds. That's just hard to weld. And I, I gauged the metal and uh, I went ahead and put it that the coating on the can and also I had to you know, sand it down a little bit. 
Anyway, that's the little door. And here's what, in the back side, here is the heat shield. Okay, and these marks right here is where, that, where I gotta make, make holes with my can opener. And down there, those are holes with the can opener too. All the way around. And these are clips right here. These are clips right here that will fit like so. Like this. And I bent them up on my bender. But you can do device or anything like that. And I'm going to put those on there. And then put my insulation. Alright. But And here's my holder that I made for my sterno. And I'm going to weld those I'm going to uh, weld these up real quick. The 332 welding rod going there. I'll knock the flux off. And the can sits perfect. Right there and like that. So I just did the wire so it wouldn't go down any farther. But I'm going to weld them. Um, just, you know, for the heck of it. You don't have to, but this is me. All right, folks. I will be back. Well, let me tack these up real quick. I'll show you. I'm going to tack them up. All right. I'm not going to make my holes in my can. And all that good stuff. All right. And it's raining like you're going out of stall out there. And I'll be sure to take the sterno out of the can before I weld it up. I'm using my Miller 135, 115 volt uh, MIG gun, and I will show you a little something there. I hope so, anyway. Walking my lead. Okay. All right. Here we go.
All right. Got a little gorilla weld on there. Not my best. But that, that big glob, I made a hole, so what the hey. All right. We'll be back shortly. I'll start cutting uh, holes on top of that thing. Okie dokie. Over now. Alright, now we're going to uh, put holes on the top so it can breathe, or the sternum can breathe. I'm going to use my old uh, Leatherman. Heat barbecue black paint. Probably no need, but I'm like, what the heck? That's think for a little while, but look, you black. Stay clean, something shiny in the wood. And then again, it's going to be in a blind, so what the heck? Damn old paint. What do y'all think? Y'all leave me a comment. There we go. We got all up top, now the bottom, right here. Let's see if I can see what I'm doing here. All right. Bottom. And just one hole at the bottom. You see that? I hate peeping myself. I mean, y'all see that? I'll put it like this guy. Anyway, I'll get the picture. We'll get another one right here. Another one right here. Yep. All right. There we go. All the holes are punch. Tops. The top right there. Sides. It's just like it was on the internet. That guy up on the internet. My door is looking pretty sweet. Got a little boat out. Let's just close up the other little door. Got a little nut that you can take your multi tool, and grab a hold of, and close it up you got it if you're cooking on top of it. All right. And here, you know, y'all see it, but well, anyway, from the side view, this is the way the, the shield, the heat shield will go in there. So that way it won't get the backside of your uh, blind, or you know, we, you know what I'm saying, it won't get the backside of your blind. It works like, almost like a buddy heater, It'll direct the heat away. You still have hot air coming up this way, hot and heat, and this way, and this way, but the backside will be kind of, kind of contained, if y'all know what I mean. All right. I'll come back and I'll weld these uh, back plates on here, okay? And I got this done uh, a little bit ago. Uh, the little, where you sit the sternum on. Ain't the prettiest job in the world, but I'll hold. And you see my my little MIG. But you don't have to use a MIG, you just stick them in there and bend them over, you know what the hey? It's not holding a whole lot of weight. So, there she is. But that piston's underneath of here, the sterno does. All right, we'll get that here in a minute. All right. Okay, now, y'all, we're getting ready to uh, weld the clips on there for the heat shield. All right. Got this one packed on here.
Get this right around. Well, no. Okay. Break. These are the clips standoffs for the heat shield. Y'all can see that. I bet y'all count how many times I see. Can y'all see that? That's the heat shields. All right. I'm going to fit her up the way I want. I'm going to tack her. Okay, y'all, we're gonna weld the uh, the uh, standoffs to the heat shield. Hopefully, anyway. I got my reach overs on there. Something, something on there.
All right, now we're going to weld the top, y'all. Got a grinder on there for weight. She's off the white, too. Up, well, I got a well out. See what it looks like, y'all. Here's the heat shield. Both sides. Now, just look at my insulation on the back side of here. Wire it down. These pieces of stainless steel wire and wire it down. All right. How y'all like that? 
It's a long drawn out video, but there she is. Heat shield, keep the heat away from the blind. My little door. I'll get there and cut that out. I'll come back here a little bit. Okay, hey, y'all. Got the heater done. Let me see what I can see. But I got the flashing on. I got the insulation. That's real high heat insulation. I use stainless steel tire wire. Up in here. And I went down one time down. Down. And went this way. And all my wires are tucked up underneath there. I used to work with insulators years ago. And uh, anyway, this is to keep the heat, you know, from getting to the side of your blind. You know, this is for demonstrate, you know, just use your own risk. You know, this is a heater I, I made up. And uh, uh, saw it online on a forum. It's called a $10 DIY heater. And I just took it, made some modifications, made me a little door. All that kind of stuff, and give a shout out to that guy who made it, man. It's really nice. But I'm gonna light the sterno up, and then give me a pot of water, and uh, see what it will do. All right. Doki. I wish I had me a heat uh, gun to measure temperatures and all, but I don't. But I'm gonna show you, I'm gonna hook it a boil water. Uh, one thing I recommend is have a multi-tool when you're hunting or fishing or emergency situation. You wanna cook something, food, prepping, any of that kind of stuff. Okay, here's my stern out. And there she is, a gel. It should last two, two, two and a quarter hours. I'll put it out in there like that. It's nice and clear. You can see the height of it right there. Alright, I'm going to light this bad boy up. This is it. See if y'all can see that or not. That stuff burns clean. Out here. She's lit. I got clean up burns. Alright, now we're gonna pick our stove and put it right on top of it. Leave some on. There we go. And that that's gonna be like the corner of your oh you're blind. Woo! That's hot. <laughs> That's, that was dumb. But anyway, look, I see how hot it is to add that quick. I sure just burnt my fingers. I know, that was dumb. But anyway, that's how hot she gets, y'all. Okay, well, I'll come back and put a pot of water on it, and we'll start, we'll see if it, how long it takes to boil. All right, be right back. All right, y'all, I'm back. 20 minutes later, I had to take that, uh, bottom piece off because you know, I got a fat on the table right here with a piece of metal there so because it, it was too close but that's meant to dig into the dirt when you're in your blind but yeah we got a blue flame going up in there and like I say you know y'all know how hot it is but this is cool to the touch right here this is cool to the touch so that's, that's safe and it's got a little bit of odor to it um, the, the sterno has a little bit of odor to it so just make sure you got ventilation in your blind. And if you are using a sterno, hey, take a little pot with you or a little can and put apple juice in it when you're deer hunting. That um, mostly, well, ap mostly apple juice and water. And let it boil, and I'll put off a, a good smell for the deer. Just, just saying. Um, but anyway, make sure you have ventilation and you can cook on it while you're hunting. We got boiling water 20 minutes later. 
Now that's pretty neat to the bottom. Now, like I say, do you see how much water I have in there? It's about an inch of water in there. And she's boiling. So, yep, you can cook on it, heat yourself, anything you want. And the main thing is sterno and a match or a lighter. Anyway, this is my hunting blind heater. Make sure you have ventilation. This is for demonstration purposes only. I hope y'all like it. All right. Well, hope y'all enjoyed this project. This is KVUSMC or Kenny. Over now. Hey, good luck this hunting season. I'll see y'all out there. I'll be making plenty of deer hunting videos, squirrel hunting videos, rabbit. Hey, what what the hey? Turkeys, whatever whatever I, whatever comes my way. <laughs> Alright, y'all take it easy now. Something fine, God bless. Please subscribe. Alright now. Bye bye.